The Royal Yacht Britannia, alas, no longer operating, of course, accompanied the Queen on this tour. It uh, started in Kuwait, and then it followed her down the Gulf. So it went Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, the Emirates, and then down uh, Bahrain, and ended up in Oman, and followed her all the way. And she used that to, to entertain her guests. There was this amazing hospitality. Wherever we went, we were provided with luxury transport so we could keep up with the Queen when she was traveling. I mean, the hospitality was absolutely overwhelming. There were about uh, 60 accompanying media actually traveling as part of um, the royal court. So we all walked outside. And there were 60-odd limousines, one for each of us. This convoy, escorted by the police, set off across the desert from Dubai to Alain and then uh, on to Abu Dhabi. And I, I do remember, you know, that it was just really rather surreal. And the Duke of Edinburgh was um, saying how fascinated, fascinated he had been with things like camel racing, you know, he'd never seen this sort of thing before. The men, the local men doing that wonderful dancing with the tambourines and the, the cane sticks and the swords, and he thought this sort of thing was absolutely fascinating, he told us at the end. stuck in my mind was we went to a camel race but the queen went along and we were standing opposite the finishing post and you know she clearly thought this was absolutely wonderful quite spectacular yeah, the the intense interest in this visit was because you had a queen a woman visiting a part of the world where women were not high profile. And so there was this intense interest in it, not only by the British media, but by the international media as well. The idea that you were going to have Queen Elizabeth of England stepping off a plane and standing there shaking hands as an equal with the rulers uh, in the Gulf. And there were not only journalists from all over the Arab world, but I remember there were Germans on board, there were Americans. So there was this intense interest in the trip to see really how the rulers in the Gulf would welcome uh, a, a woman monarch, a woman leader, a woman head of state, and to see how the public would react as well. Of course, the queen already knew um, the rulers uh, in the Emirates through racing. So it was regarded as one which could have had all sorts of pitfalls for very obvious reasons with a, a woman head of state in those days, but which actually went off very well. <laughs> 